Today we're talking about Varroa destructor, um, which is a mite which is, attaches itself to uh, the larva of baby bees uh, and it actually bites into um, the skin of the baby bee and, and sucks out the haemoglyph, which is equivalent to blood um, in a human being. It's, it's a bee's uh, blood that keeps them going and they suck that out and then when they decamp and come off of that, um, then they lay their eggs um, inside and they can mate within that cell while that larva is pupating and then um, they can actually, they mate inside the cell. Um, so they don't have to leave the hive um, for it to continue on and you can see how um, you know once you get varroa into your hive um, how it can quickly take over um, and it weakens the hive, it weakens the bees and it allows the source of infection to get in through where Varroa destructor actually bites into the skin of the larva uh, to suck the haemoglyph out and that's where infection gets in. And overseas they have a, a disease which is called black wing virus um, which gets in through those skin abrasions um, and that then um, stunts the wing growth of the bees so the bees um, are deformed when they hatch out finally. Um, Varroa like uh, to use uh, the larva of drones, preferably to worker bees, because drones have a longer cycle from when the egg is laid until it hatches out. It, it's um, 25 days. Um, and they like that longer cycle, so it allows them to do all those things um, a bit more, uh, with more time allowed for them to do it than if they invade a worker of lava. So the whole thing is um, uh, preferably when you're looking, you can actually use one of those uh, scrapers that you use when you're extracting honey uh, to scrape out the hollows that you can't uncap. Um, dig them into the raised bullet shapes uh, which is the drone cells and actually lift the drones out um, and you will see more easily um, the varroa if it is on that larva. So um, overseas commercial beekeepers actually put in frames of drone comb uh, so the queen lays it all up in drones which is unfertilized eggs um, and are the male bees to attract and get all the varroa onto them and then when they've sealed and, and grown then they take the whole frame out and destroy it and then that breaks the life cycle um, of the varroa mite. So um, that is why here in Australia uh, we haven't got varroa but that's why we're getting onto the sugar shake so that all amateurs and all beekeepers um, when they do a sugar shake if you can find uh, if there is varroa that has somehow got into the country, well, they're hoping that if it's discovered fast enough, they can quarantine an area, get rid of all the bees in that area, and hopefully um, shut down um, uh, that varroa incursion um, into Australia. Uh, we hope um, that it never happens, uh, and it's only vigilance uh, that has stopped it to date. Um, and uh, you know, uh, it. <laughs> we don't want it. It's everywhere else in the in the in the 
the wide world, they've all got varroa, but Australia is the only country that is clean and hasn't got it, and we hope not to get it.